Hey guys, so let me just first start off by saying that I am so sorry if this video is going to end up being super long because I'm just super excited to tell you about the product that I'm about to review for you guys. I am in love with it and I have been seriously waiting the longest time for this to come in the mail because I'm just so excited over it. When I got here, I was like, yes, I'm seriously so in love. It's gorgeous and let me just show you what I'm talking about. So this is, drum roll please, the Makeup Geek Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette and it is gorgeous. I absolutely love this palette. I think it's very versatile and there's a lot of cool tones in here. There's warm tones in here and really all of these colors that you see can be used in so many different looks. I mean, it's, it's stunning, it's gorgeous, I love it. I have nothing bad to say about it at all. And um, I would not be reviewing a product for you guys, just so you know, and telling you guys that I love something when I don't. I will give honest reviews. If I think something sucks, I will tell you, hey, you know what, honestly, don't spend your money on this, this sucks. Please don't get it, it is a waste. But this, no, no, no. This is a great investment, um, and yes, it is an investment, because this retails on the Makeup Geek website for $160, this entire palette. So it is quite pricey, so if you are on a budget, I would just recommend waiting, saving up your money, and just, just wait, because it is worth the wait. I'm telling you it is worth the wait, but once you get it, you are going to be in love. Um, what I really love about all of these shadows is they are extremely pigmented and they're they're great and they are very blendable which is extremely important when working with eyeshadows because when you have something that is difficult to blend it is not going to look so nice on your eyes at all and you're going to be able to see harsh lines and nobody likes harsh lines that is not cute and i am not about that life so um I'm really excited to tell you guys about it and what I'm going to be doing is I will be doing swatches for you and giving you like an in-depth review on what I think about it and I will be showing you each color individually and also I have something extremely exciting to tell you. I am going to be announcing something but at the end of this video. So if you want to know what that announcement is then please keep watching and stay tuned till the end. Okay, so the first shadow that I'm going to be showing you guys is called Beaches and Cream, and it is a very gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, this is a very versatile color, to be honest with you. You can really use this on the lid, on the crease, all over. This is a very versatile color, and it is going to be very suitable on the majority of skin tones. So I really love this color. This is one of my favorite colors in the palette itself. So. I love it, it's very, very blendable and it is gorgeous. So this next color that I'm gonna be showing you is called Shimma Shimma and it is gorgeous. It is extremely pigmented. You can really use this anywhere. And when I say anywhere, I mean the crease, the lid, the brow bone. You can use this on, on the inner tear duct of your eyes. You can use this as a nice, gorgeous highlight. I mean, this is a, an extremely versatile eyeshadow and it's gorgeous and this also works on the majority of skin tones as well. So I really, really, really love this shadow. This is one of my favorites for sure. This shadow here is called Unexpected and this shadow is gorgeous. It is another one of my favorites. I mean, I have so many favorites in this, in this palette. I can't just choose one particular eyeshadow. Um, but this is Unexpected and this color is amazing. It is a very light purpley uh, like mauve color. It's very, it's very light, but it is extremely pretty. This color here is called Graphite, and this would really complement light eyes as well as brown eyes um, because of the mixture of colors here. And it does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's so pretty. It's a mixture, I would say, like of a turquoise to a green. It's a mixture of both with some brown undertones. It is just so pretty and so, so pigmented. This is another one of my favorites. I mean, like I said, I can't just choose one particular eyeshadow. It really is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This next color is called Butta Bing. And can we just have a moment and talk about this color? This is seriously, this is like 
my top three favorite eyeshadows of this whole palette, this is in that, that little area here because I love it. It is gorgeous. I love very shimmery eyeshadows. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love matte looks too, but shimmery eyeshadows I think are very beautiful, especially on light eyes. It really makes your eyes pop. Um, this color here is brown and it's got like gold specks in it and it's very shimmery and very, very, very pretty to wear honestly any time throughout the year and this would be a great color to wear as like a going out look for a date night or just with your friends. This is that color that you would pick up because it's beautiful. This eyeshadow is called Corrupt and seriously when I tell you guys this is one of the blackest eyeshadows I've ever, ever tried and let me just tell you, I've tried a lot of black eyeshadows. This is probably one of the darkest, blackest eyeshadows that I've ever tried and it's beautiful. This would be ideal for a really dark, sultry, smoky eye. You would definitely use this. This and Bada Bing together would be like an amazing, amazing smoky eye. So I love this and this again is called Corrupt. This is called Moon Dust and this shadow is very, very pretty. It's almost like a um, like a brown undertone with a little bit of black in it, and it's, it's just a mixture of colors. It's a little difficult to explain, but it's moon dust, and it's very pretty, and you can apply this, honestly, um, over all over the, the lid. You can apply this. It would be gorgeous in the crease. You can really do a ton with this particular eyeshadow, so it's very, very pretty to wear and it's extremely versatile and this would suit a ton of different skin tones as well. This is Peacock and this is beautiful. I love, 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 love this color. Um, this is a gorgeous blue color with a little bit of gray undertones. It is so, so, so pretty and extremely pigmented. I mean, honestly, all these eyeshadows are extremely pigmented, but this is very pigmented and it's gorgeous and would be beautiful in the summertime. So I love this color. This color here is called Drama Queen. And first of all, I love that name. But second of all, I love this eyeshadow. This is a very dark, plummy, purpley eyeshadow. And what I like about this is if you apply it lightly, it can apply lighter than what it appears. So that is, that is great for somebody that likes this color but wants it just to be a little bit lighter and a little bit more toned down. Um, but you can really build this color up and it's gorgeous. This is another color that would be ideal for fall, but you can wear this during any season of the year and it's still beautiful no matter what. This color is called Cupcake and I think this is the cutest baby pink color ever. I think it's adorable. When I first saw it, I honestly thought to myself, I don't know, I don't see myself wearing this color that much, but this is gorgeous and you can really use a lot of this color because you can you can build it up and add other colors to it and it's just it's a gorgeous gorgeous color especially for blending so I love this color so much this is mango tango and this color is very pretty you can use this for a ton of different looks as well uh, this is great to blend out into other colors and this is like an orangish brownish reddish type of color uh, it's very pretty and extremely versatile, so I really like this eyeshadow. This is the color Gold Digger, and I, I really like this eyeshadow because you can use this with Corrupt, and you could make a gorgeous smoky eye out of this color as well. Um, so this and Bada Bing would be, would be wonderful with Corrupt. So I love this color, and it's extremely shimmery, but not to the point where, it, where it's too much shimmer. Um, but it is, there is shimmer in it, and it's very, very pretty and, and just perfect for a smoky eye. This is one of those colors that, that would be ideal for a smoky eye, which would be used for a blending shade for a smoky eye. So I love this color a lot. This baby is called Bitten, and this is another one of those shadows that is on my top three list for this entire palette. I love this color so much. You can use this color for so many different looks. It's a dark cranberry color and you can really create a sultry, smoky eye with this look and this is 
gorgeous. I use this eyeshadow a lot and I love it. So there's, there's really nothing else that, that I have to say about this except it is beautiful. This color is called Chickadee. And this is another one of those colors where I saw this and I was like, hmm, I don't know about that. I don't know if I can really picture myself wearing this color. Uh, because when you first see it, it it's, it's somewhat orange with a little bit of red undertones and possibly some brown undertones, but it's, it is definitely orange. Then I mix this with Cocoa Bear and as well as a few others and it is gorgeous to blend this with other colors. I think it's beautiful. I think this works really well with Bada Bing. I think this works amazingly well with Corrupt. So I really love this color. I, I, I ended up loving it and I honestly at first was really on the fence with this one because this is not something that I would typically wear. So this is actually a very pretty color and if you decide to get this palette, give this color a chance. I promise you're going to love it. This is the color Cosmopolitan and I this is this is just one of those eyeshadows that is ideal for just about everybody because it is gorgeous. It is brownish reddish undertones and it is a little bit shimmery, but it's so beautiful and this would really make light eyes pop. So I, I really love this color. Um, I, I, I think it's gorgeous and this would be perfect really any time in, in the season. This is one of those colors where you can apply all over the, the lid and the crease and this is one of those colors that you can have like a one-stop shop with it, you know, just, just one color and that is it and that would be Cosmopolitan. So I really enjoy this eyeshadow a lot. This is Country Girl and this eyeshadow has pinkish and cranberry colored undertones in it. Um, I think it's very pretty and this does have shimmer in it a little bit, but I think it is gorgeous. I think it's a really pretty color and this blends out very nicely and you can really wear this color with a ton of different makeup looks that you're, that you're wanting to do. So I love this color. This is Simply Marlena, and this is one of my favorite colors in the entire palette. I think it's gorgeous. This is perfect if you are doing a Valentine's Day makeup look, or if you're just having a girl's night out. This is a very girly color. This is quite pink, and it's got a little bit of red undertones, but this mainly is pink, and it's so pretty, so fun, so flirty. I really like this color a lot. This is Sensuous, and this is so pretty. This is a purple eyeshadow with shimmer in it, and the shimmer flecks in it are so pretty. There are, they're like green and gold mixed within this shadow. So this is very, very pretty, and this would be another color that would be great with Corrupt. Uh, you can do a gorgeous smoky eye with this look, and this can also be very pretty in the summertime as well, so I really like this shadow too. So these next two colors that I'm about to show you are definitely one of my favorites in the palette. And when I saw these two colors, I was like, okay, I have to, I have to get this palette. This is, this is life. This is everything. So this is the color Mermaid. This is beautiful. I am obsessed with this color. This is a very turquoisey color, but also it's got some gray undertones in it as well as, you know, there's some green undertones and it is so, so pretty and so pigmented and I love this color. This is one of my favorites. Like I said, this is one color that I saw in the palette and I was like, I, ha I have to have that color and I love the entire palette, but I saw this and I was like, I need this color in my life. It's so pretty. I love this and this would be beautiful for light eyes. This would make light eyes pop like no other. So I love this color. And again, this is the color Mermaid. Now this next color is another one of those colors that I saw in the palette and I was like, um, yes, one please. I will go ahead and take that. This is so, so pretty and I I love, this is, this is probably my, my favorite eyeshadow in the entire palette because it is gorgeous and wearable for a ton of different looks. You can really build this up and create a gorgeous, dark, sultry, smoky eye with this or you can kind of tone it down a little bit. And this is the color Envy and it speaks for itself. It's beautiful. I'm envious of this color because I love it so much. <laughs> it's really, really pretty and it is 
like a dark green with gray undertones. There's a pop of turquoise in there and a little bit of gray as well. It is so, 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 so pretty, so pigmented and so luxurious and just amazing. I really, really, really enjoy this color. This, like I said, is, is probably my favorite color in the entire palette. And I mean, it's beautiful. You cannot go wrong with this eyeshadow, especially if you have light eyes. It will really, really, really make your eyes pop a lot. So I love this color so much. This color is called Pixie Dust. I know, it is an extremely intimidating color because not a lot of people would go to bright colors every single day and wear that every single day. And I don't blame you because I don't wear bright colors every single day. I'm a very neutral girl. I like warmer tones, some cooler tones, but mostly warmer tones. So when I saw this, I was like, whoa, that is bright as hell. Like what the heck am I gonna do with this eyeshadow? Let me tell you what you can do with this eyeshadow, a lot. It's extremely pigmented, very pretty, and it is very bright, but this is also something you can kind of tone down a little bit too, depending on the way you blend this out. Um, I, I, I really like this color. Um, I was one of those people that when I saw this, I was like, mm, I don't know about this, honestly. I have no idea what I'm gonna even do with this color, but it's very pretty, and you can wear this. This would be ideal in the summertime, for sure, because it is so bright and so pigmented and so gorgeous, and this is like a yellow, greenish tone with, with brown undertones, so it's, I mean, it's, it's very, very pretty, and this would look very complimentary on darker skin tones. It would really make your guys' eyes pop, and I, I really like this, and this could be used also with so many different shadows in this, but one particular obviously would be Corrupt because you can make a gorgeous smoky eye out of this and Corrupt together. So I, I really like this. Do not let this color intimidate you. Give it a try first. This is the color Glamorous, and this is another one of my favorites in, in the entire palette. Um, this is somewhat of a shimmery color, and it's a light brown color, and it's beautiful. This, this is one of those colors that really you can do anything with, anything you want, you can use this for. Uh, so I, I really enjoy this color a lot and this is definitely a staple color in anybody's makeup collection that they have. So I really, really like this color. This is Homecoming and I also, I mean like I have so many favorites in this palette. Like I mean this whole entire palette is my favorite honestly, but this is one of my favorite colors in this palette as well um, because it's another one of those colors that is a staple for anybody to have in their collection. It is somewhat of a shimmery brown color and it's just very, very pretty. You can apply this in the crease and create a very subtle smoky eye with it or go a little bit more glammed up and make it a little bit darker. It really just depends. But you can do a ton with this particular color. So I really enjoy this color and it's, it's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. So next is Prom Night, and first of all, can we just talk about the names? We just had Homecoming, now we have Prom Night. I think it's so cute and adorable. But this color is very pretty, and this color is like a silvery gray tone with like, a, it's got like blue undertones to it. It's very pretty, and uh, this, this would be pretty to have like an outer crease area. Uh, but you can really just mix it up and do whatever you want with this particular color because this is a, a pretty versatile color and I really enjoy this color a lot. So this is Prom Night. This is the color Cocoa Bear and this for sure is one of my favorite eyeshadows in this palette. I know I feel like I've been saying that about every single eyeshadow that I've showed you guys, but seriously, who does not need a gorgeous matte brown in their collection? Um, Everybody, everybody needs a gorgeous matte brown in their collection and this is one of those colors that is exactly just that, a gorgeous matte brown. It is beautiful. I love this because it's extremely blendable. Honestly, all of these eyeshadows are, but this color in particular is very blendable and you can do a ton with this eyeshadow. So this is Cocoa Bear and I love it, I love it and I think you guys will too. 
This is poolside and this is amazing. This makes me want to go take a vacation on a beach in like Cancun or somewhere tropical because this is that type of eyeshadow. It would be ideal in the summertime and this would be ideal for light eyes obviously for obvious reasons. I mean this this eyeshadow is seriously probably in my top three as well. I mean, I don't even know what I just went through with the, with the top three. I probably have like a top five now that I just said to you guys, but this seriously is absolutely beautiful and so pigmented and very, very, very easy to blend out. And I actually just recently did a makeup look on my Instagram using this color and a ton of you guys really, really liked it and had um, sent me direct messages and said, oh my gosh, like I have to see that color again. So this is that color, this is poolside. I love this color so, so, so much. It is beautiful. And um, I, I know this is a very bright blue, but let me tell you, once it's on the eyes, it lays beautifully, it's gorgeous. So if you have not tried this out yet and you have this, I don't know what you're doing because you need to try this out. It's beautiful, I love it so much. And then finally, we have our last color, which is Apple Teeny. And I really like this color a lot, honestly. Um, it is green with like turquoise undertones and a little bit of gold in there. It's very, very pretty and can be worn, of course, in the summertime and would look really gorgeous with poolside. So I, I really like this color a lot. Of course, again, ideal for the summertime because it's so bright but um, you can do a lot with, with this look as well. I think this would be gorgeous with Gold Digger and Corrupt too. So I really, really like this, this eyeshadow here. So that is all I have to say about these 27 eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. Um, I just love all of them so much, obviously, if you couldn't tell, and they are all just so beautiful and so gorgeous, so luxurious and just, so amazing and out of a 10, I would rate this palette to be a 10 for sure. And I know this is quite a bit of a splurge. Um, save your money because it is worth it because you will have these shadows for a really, really, really long time and they are just absolutely beautiful. So I really recommend this palette and I think it's gorgeous and like I said to you before, I would not recommend something to you guys if I truly did not love it and did not stand by the brand and Makeup Geek Cosmetics, I stand by that brand for sure because it's an amazing brand and, um, and I love it so much and I don't think that there is anything else to say about this palette except that you need this in your life because it is amazing. So that is all about this palette that I have to say. So I did say at the very beginning of this video that I do have a very big announcement to make and I'm so excited to share it with you guys because I'm going to be going out of the country and I will be gone for about two weeks. So I decided to vlog while I'm out of the country and um, I'm making just a few stops along the way of where I'm going to be getting to and I am going to be stopping in Atlanta, New York, and then I'm going to Austria, and my main stop is in Israel. And I have a huge itinerary planned out. I'm gonna be doing something every single day, so I'm extremely excited about it, and I decided to vlog everything because I wanted to take you guys along the journey with me. I only thought that that was fair, um, especially since unfortunately, because I am gonna be gone for just about two weeks, I won't be able to get another video up for you guys until I get back into the States. Um, but I am proud to say that I will be on all of my social media websites every single day while I am there. So if you are not following me, then you definitely need to. Um, my name is here for Instagram and Twitter, which is at Keeping Up With Nicole. And then here for my Facebook, which is Official Nicole Wurtenberg. So follow me on both, on, on all, <laughs> I should say. and. Um, Keep up with me while I'm out there so you can see I'm going to be posting tons of pictures and little clips of videos here and there. It's going to be super exciting and I'm so, so glad that I'm taking you guys along this journey with me. So please don't forget to follow me. That way you can stay connected with me while I am out there because I love speaking to you guys and interacting with you guys all the time, anytime, every day. Whatever it is, I want to interact with you guys. So make sure to follow me on both Twitter and Instagram and then like my fan page on Facebook so that way you can stay up to date on what I'm doing while I'm out of the country. 
So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to stay connected with you guys on all of my social media websites while I'm out of the country. And I know this was quite a long video. I'm sorry about that, but I just had to share with you my favorite palette of all time. <laughs> So thanks again for watching, and if you guys want to see some makeup looks uh, with this particular palette that I showed you today, please don't forget to leave your comments down below so I can know what you guys want to see, because of course you are most important to me and I want to do what you guys want to see, of course. So thanks again so much for watching, keeping up with me, and I will see you in my next video once I get back into the States. Bye! looking at swatches and getting like an in-depth find. So if you're interested in knowing my thoughts on this particular, yep, I guess completely forgot what I was gonna say. I love when that happens. And it's really, really pigment, pigmented. It, I try to say pretty and pigmented at the same time. Mm -hmm. That didn't work out for me. <laughs> this color, this color is like a, Really cool.